What's up, YouTube? Be the trucker here. I'm about to drop another video for y'all. Um, really, what this video right here gonna be is gonna. Uh, I know y'all remember I was telling y'all, you know, I'm gonna try to like vlog my days and just kind of show y'all like a day in the life of be the trucker. Uh, while I'm out here on the road, I'm gonna try to get some when I'm at the house too. But um, like I, said, I just didn't didn't do it this week. Uh, this past weekend, day Monday. July 1st. Yeah, yeah, it's the first day of the month. Hope y'all got that rent payment due, boy. It's time to pay it. Well, um, <laughs> anyway, like I said, yeah, this is gonna be like a day in the life of um, of be the trucker. Show y'all, you know, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm out here, when I'm working and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, so what I'm doing right now, I, I just got in my truck. Not, not that long ago, you know, so I'm saying I got in touch with my dispatcher, told him, you know, I'm ready to, I'm ready to roll out or whatever, and, um, you know, he told me he'd give me a call back when he got something, and, yeah, so I'm just in here waiting on that on that phone call, and, uh, and we're going to go from there. So, I said, I've been out, uh, out duty for 65 hours, y'all. You know, and that's the thing I like about the company that I'm at over here, at AMX. Um, I like I get I get plenty of home time. You know, it, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, be a truck driver and also be a, a regular human being. You know what I'm saying? I'm not always cooped up inside this this, this truck. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just as soon as he called me back. Tell me where we're going. You know, we're gonna go from there and show y'all a day in the life of be the truck. Alright, so I just got a um got a, got a phone call from my dispatcher. He got me going to pick up a load right here in my hometown of Dothan, Alabama. Uh going to some cigar place or something like that. It's a dropping hook. Um, and, and it's crazy because there's so many places here in my hometown that I didn't even really know existed. Um, but like, I don't, I don't really know where the place. I mean, I got the address, of course, but I ain't never, I, I never knew it was. I knew about one cigar place or uh, one cigar plant here in uh, in town, but I never knew we had two. <laughs> I never knew it was two cigar places here in town, but. I'm about to go to it, so I'm about to see, I'm about to see where where it's at and what's it called and all that. So yeah, y'all just stay tuned. All right, what's up, y'all? So we getting ready to get up out of here now. I just got my own. Uh, I just got my load sent to me, and I'm going to like I told y'all earlier. I'm going to pick up this load here in my hometown. A load of cigars, high value load. Uh, can't stop back by the house with it. Can't leave it unattended anywhere. Uh, um, is it that one? Then somebody would taste my old lady would taste me. But um, what I was saying. Oh yeah, like I told y'all, uh, like I said, it's a high value load. Can't leave it unattended or anything like that. Now what I'm about to do now, I'm writing down my load information that was sent to me. Uh, it's basically just a bunch of numbers and it's telling me my pickup location and where I'm uh, delivering the load to. The load is going down to uh, Pompano, uh, Pompano Beach, Florida. Might as well just say Fort Lauderdale, Miami, down in that area, South Florida. Y'all know how I feel about South Florida, boy. I just don't care too much about it. Get in, get the hell out. Y'all know my motto. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I get this uh this low information wrote down, we're gonna get up out of here, head the uh pick up to pick up this load, and we're gonna get down to Florida. Yep, as soon as I get done with this. 
pretty good miles. So I don't know if they're going to try to have me home for the 4th of July or not. It don't really make me no different. I feel like the um, 4th of July ain't like a huge holiday. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess it is, but to me personally, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. That's just my opinion. You know, I know some folks, they think the 4th of July is like Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, that has some folks act. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Um, the only thing I usually do on the 4th of July is, hell, really just watch the lit hot dog eating contest. <laughs> The, uh, what was his name? Joey Chestnut dude. That little nigga be eating too, man. The Chinese dude, the Asian, whatever the hell he is. He be doing it, huh? He be doing his thing. But other than that, I don't really do too much on the 4th of July. I don't really spend no money on, uh, no firecrackers or nothing like that because I feel like that's the biggest waste of money you can you can, that's the, the dumbest thing you can spend your money on, some damn firecrackers. Like, you literally blowing your money up. Watching it blow up at that. Thinking it's pretty. I don't know, y'all probably like, damn, man. We always got something here, damn, man. Be your damn contacts, man. I ain't got, got my contacts in right now. I went to put it in this morning and the um, uh, contact, you got a little tear in it. I put that drink in my eye and started cutting up immediately. Hold on. I got to write this for it, uh, 64 90. All right. So let's get out of here. All right, so we're gonna get up out of here now, like I said, man. I got the back up out of here, though, because it's, uh, it's too tight for me to um, make this turn right here. There's a car right, right over here beside me. So I'm gonna just back up out of here. I didn't read the load and I just take it take the load and take off with it you know what I'm saying and I get to the place and they'll be like oh we're, we weren't expecting you until tomorrow and sometimes I mean it work out in my favor you know I get the load off and other times it'll bite me in the ass because I have to sit there and wait you know what I'm saying, but like I said, I get around to reading the, the load before I get too, too far out of here. Yeah. That, that, that might 
be familiar with US 231 because I think that thing go all the way up to like Indiana or somewhere. But this the part of it in Alabama. cigar place that I was telling y'all about um, I didn't even know we did business with these people or, or whatever but I ain't never been here before I don't know if I'm in the right spot or not I don't know I see a guy oh that's the AMA's day cab So I just want to talk to the to the people. My trailer, like that third, that second one, right there. He told me to take my truck, or take my my trailer that I got now. He told me to take my trailer that I got now and just uh, basically back it straight up over that way. It's a dropping hook, like I was telling y'all earlier. So uh, yeah, it's a dropping hook. That's always a good thing. Man, I'm hot out here. So this is basically just a straight, straight line back for the most part, y'all. So I say y'all, this is just a day in the life, man. A day in the life. I do this every day. Is uh, the king pin locked, and we good to go. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all see that AMS, that Florida State here coming out. Alright, so now we got paperwork, and now we finna um. I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna head to the uh, to the AMX yard, the terminal, get some fuel, and then we'll for sure, for sure, be on the way to Pompano Beach, Florida. So uh, yeah, y'all just stay tuned and enjoy this 
this this little journey that we finna, finna go on, finna go on a little road trip, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in Live Oak, Florida. They did a little uh, Busy B truck stop. I ain't know about this truck stop for a while. Well, I've been knowing about it for a while now, but when I first found out about it, I didn't really know too much about it. Pretty cool little place. I should have showed y'all the inside of the uh, truck stop and stuff. They got some clean restrooms. They probably the cleanest bathrooms in the country <laughs> for real so every time i come through live oak florida i have to stop here to be his but now i'm about to uh, get back on this highway get back in the truck now and uh keep on getting down here to uh what you call it uh pompano beach florida Been a pretty good, good little trip so far. But there's still more money to be made, man. So I catch y'all a little bit further on down this road, and yeah, I holler at y'all a little bit. day one on our way on our on our little road trip down here to uh from from Dothan, Alabama to Pompano Beach, Florida. Day one is in the books, y'all. Um we down here right now we in Wildwood, Florida at the TA. Uh right off of I 75 right before you get to Florida's turnpike, you know, the rich folk road. <laughs> you know you gotta have money right on the turnpike. But um yeah that's where I'm at right now. I've been out of duty uh, about 20 minutes and it's 6 40 over here in eastern time eastern time zone um 5 40 in central obviously you know um so i probably get up tomorrow morning around my 10 hour break will be over at 4 20 in the morning so i get up around the end uh, go on duty do my own duty uh pre-trip all of that and then i should be getting up out of here about 4 30 in the morning so yeah i ain't got to deliver this load uh until four o'clock tomorrow evening down here in uh in pompano beach florida so you know we i'm running way ahead of schedule you know, because y'all know this is how I do. <laughs> this is what I do. I'm always, always on time. And, uh, you know, that, that is why I'm the king of the South. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah. But, um, nah, for real, for real. Um, like I said, I did 340 miles a day. Um, it's not that many, but whatever. Uh, I got 
got 264 left to go in the morning, so that's about well, my GPS says it's four hours and 21 minutes, but I don't really know how accurate that is being that I um I hopped off the interstate and it didn't reroute it and all of that. Y'all know how to how the little GPS is do. And um so I don't I don't really know how accurate that is. I mean it is it's probably close. But I don't know if that's the exact mileage and time that I am away from a place down in Pompano Beach, Florida. Show y'all where I'm at a little bit. I'm sitting, sitting here at the uh, at a truck stop, you know, got a lit. I'm in a parking spot, you know, with over. Right here at the TA. Yep, so that's that's where I'm at right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably about to run up in here and, you know, grab me something to eat right quick. Get a shower and probably crash out for the night get up in the morning like i said about 4 20 we're gonna rule up out of here y'all so yeah y'all just stay tuned and keep riding out with your boy holly all right what's up y'all gonna get this day two started i'm gonna get down here like i like i've been saying man uh pompano beach floor where we headed to. So, we got to figure out how to get out the truck stop first. y'all down here in Pompano Beach, Florida. Y'all, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. It's so damn hot down here, man. But, um, I've been outside walking around and going on because I had to find the people, somebody to talk to. Because, of course, I get down here and nobody is to be found nowhere. So I'm just walking around, you know, I'm like, well, damn, I don't know where to go. And then when I finally do find somebody, that um speak a little bit of English, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> speak a little bit of English. He don't know what the fuck they is because they are new 
new uh, business, new company moving over here in, this, uh, in the suites that they got. So he don't know what I'm talking about. He don't know who they is. He can't fucking write the register. I'm like, man, damn. <laughs> but I finally found it. Found where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Hold on for a second, y'all. I gotta, I gotta get something to wipe my face off, man. This, this is ridiculous, yeah. I done got hot. But yeah, we getting unloaded now. They in the, um, the place wasn't really that hard to find, but like I said, it's, it's always you, of the not knowing where to go when it's in a, a suite type of warehouse. You know, you got one warehouse, or it's in all in one building, but it's like different businesses within that building, that one building. You know, so it's always tough to find where you're supposed to go when it's like that. But we here now, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's all good. But, um, I'm gonna go on and end this video right here, man. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry about the camera angles. I know they probably get crazy, but if you really. If you really down with me, you'll sit here and watch it regardless of what it look like. You'll figure out a way to watch it. And I appreciate you, H -U -O. you know, those of you that will watch the whole video, those of you that'll watch some of it and maybe not the whole thing, I appreciate all y'all as well. I appreciate everybody. But, um, yeah, um, y'all follow me on Instagram at be the trucker. That's B, hold on, follow me on Instagram at B underscore the trucker that's b underscore t h a trucker add me on snapchat at b bizzle underscore three that's b b i z z l e underscore three and uh yeah y'all highlight me <laughs>